Today, we're going to be looking at how to install Oracle Linux 7.9 into a VMware workstation. That, uh, VMware workstation is a virtualization tool that you can use to test different operating systems. You can use it to test Windows, you can use it to test uh, Linux. Um, so depending on your choice on whatever project you are doing, feel free to go to VMware Workstation website. I will leave a link below. So today, um, in order to install Oracle Linux 7.9, we have to visit the Oracle website in order to download the Oracle software itself. As you can see, I went to oracle.com Linux. So yum.oracle.com. So basically what you want to do is you want to just scroll down on this page and find find the version of Linux that you're looking for. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be uh, installing the, the version 7.9. This is why I decide to download this version. So feel free to download any version that you like and play around with it. So that being said, in order for us to install the Oracle Linux 7.9, once you've downloaded it, head back to the VMware workstation and we'll have to create a new uh, machine. So basically, the step-by-step -step process to do that is to click on the plus and go through the wizard step-by-step, -step, click on next, case okay, so and go next. And in the hardware compatibility drop-down, I will choose workstation 16.2 and I will click um, next and in the following page uh, on this page I will say choose one of the options that says I will install the operating system later and click next if you like you can select the option that says install your disk image now but I don't want to do that I will just select that and go next and on the select a guest operating system screen since we are installing Oracle Linux, we'll choose Linux from here. And in the version, the version one, we just choose Oracle Linux 7, uh, which is the perfect version. There are other versions that you can play with. There is Oracle Linux 8. Uh, there is obviously Oracle Linux 6, which is older. So I would choose Oracle Linux 7 64-bit. And I will choose Next. And on the... Uh, the virtual machine name page I am going to give my uh, virtual machine a name I will just say production so I'll type production and I will find a way to save it in a location make sure that when you're doing this you have enough storage on your uh, so once you have decided on a location to save your new virtual machine uh, from your storage device, just go ahead and select the location. In my case, I have already created a, a directory called prods, and this is where I'm going to save my new virtual machine. I'll click OK from here, and I will click Go Next. And in the processor screen, it's asking you to select how many numbers of processor do you want to have on your new Linux machine. So I will choose two. And your core processor, I will also choose two. I will hit next. And this, uh, the, the, the memory uh, page is just asking you to select a minimum uh, memory that you want for your machine. Uh, I will just leave this, leave this to your, you know, whatever memory that you have that you can play around with. It depends on the amount of memory that you, you have on your uh, computer that you want to to play around with. So I'll choose 4 gig for now uh, and then I'll go next. In the network uh, type, I will basically just leave it for the NAT, uh, the network type. So I'll click next and in the IO types, I will leave it as default and click next. In the disk type, I will choose the SCSI disk type, go next. Uh, selecting the disk, I will just create a new virtual disk and click next. And in my disk, um, 
I will just for now I will specify one terabyte of disk uh, one thousand it's basically and I will go and select to store that disk as a single file and I will hit next and the specifying disk file pages don't worry about that just click on next and on the final page you say ready to create your virtual machine now click on customize hardware so that you can re review all of the changes that you've applied from the beginning so I will just look at the summary of what is going to be in my new virtual machine for the memory I have 4 gig for processor I have called 4 core processor 4 numbers uh, 2 to each uh, I have a CD-ROM drive which is okay I'll keep that I have a network uh, access which is not uh, I have a USB controller I have a sound card I have printer and I have display so I'm just gonna keep all of these uh, options the one thing that I want to change here is to add more network I will just click add a network I will select network adapter I'll click on finish once you've done that you will basically just uh, change the type. I want to have a custom type of network for this and select host only type of network. So the reason why I'm doing this basically I will still explain in my uh, you know subsequent video to you on this channel. Um, I need an, I, I need a way for my new virtual machine to communicate both locally within uh, Linux operating system and also to the outside world. I want to have an IP address whereby I can use that IP address to communicate with, within different types of virtual machine and I also need a way for my virtual machine to communicate to the outside world. That's why I'm choosing NAT. NAT will, be, NAT will enable me to use my virtual machine to communicate to the outside world whereby the custom host only will only allow all of my VMware uh, machine and, and workstation to communicate among themselves.